Hi, I am Nur Husna Binti Zul Khairi and this is my video interview for University Malaya Medical Admission. Without further ado, let's go to the first task with the question, which do I value more, my career or my family? Before we go further, let me emphasize, I love my family. They are my backbone. I love them. They are great. And to be a doctor is my passion, my dream. It is an honor. So it is impossible for me to put numbers on their value because at the end of the day, it is about responsibility and accountability. Responsibility for me as a doctor and responsibility for me to my family as a daughter, a sister and in the future hopefully as a mother and a wife. To elaborate more, let me put this in a scenario. Let's say I am a medical specialist and my family and I we plan to go to a vacation, a dream vacation to Bora Bora, which is, sounds great. But, however, suddenly, coincidentally, there is an emergency, a pandemic, and my expertise is needed. Without hesitation, I would perform my duty. Not because I value my career more than my family, not because I am a workaholic, but this is because it is my responsibility and accountability that I sign up for when I become a medical practitioner. I'm sure in certain normal families, there will be problems like relationship issues and trust issues. However, I'm sure and I believe that in my family, they will always support me and understand my nature of job all the way. In conclusion, this is not a matter of value, but instead, it is a matter of responsibility and accountability, both as a doctor and as a family member. Okay, let's go to the next question, which is task two about online learning. The good, the bad, and what do I think about it? Well, for the past 12 years, or all my life actually, I have been exposed to conventional schooling, which is face-to-face, -face or vis-a-vis. -vis. <laughs> and then suddenly, due to the pandemic, we had to change to online learning. At first, it was tricky for me to get comfortable with online learning because of various reasons such as unstable internet connection, unsuitable gadgets, and my brothers keep screaming at the background while I am trying to concentrate during online class. But we are humans. We are a species that is able to innovate and adapt in new situation. As time goes by, I found that online learning has become a somewhat a second nature to me. It becomes more easier and more interesting. Did you know that one of the benefits of online learning is that the learning time can be molded to the flexibility of both the lecturers and the student. Okay, let me give you an example. The normal schooling time is usually is usually from nine to five. However, with online learning, you could have a class at eight p.m. or ten p.m. in the night. Of course, with the agreement of both the students and the lecturers, which is very convenient, very great. Despite all the challenges, the COVID-19 pandemic has taught me one thing, one clear thing. Humans 
are adaptable and we will survive this. Lastly, what are my reflections on the mode of education which is online learning? I think it's great, it's fun, it's interesting. Online learning is the future way of learning. Someone once said, we always fear the unknown. However, now that we have known online learning, I can boldly say, the only way now is forward. With that said, thank you for having me here today. I hope to see you soon. And of course, at University Malaya. Thank you.